also tonight, the Wayne Westland School District is hitting the brakes on planned layoffs. The board put it to a vote tonight. It comes amid a financial crisis in that district after discovering a multi-million dollar shortfall in the budget. Jacqueline Francis has reaction. Just behind those doors, the school board voted unanimously not to go through with those layoffs, but questions and concerns still remain about how they're going to make up that money. It was a show of solidarity Thursday at the Wayne Westland Special School Board meeting. I saw unity tonight. I've seen it over the last few weeks. and It's just growing stronger. Teachers, parents and community members demanding the district reverse course on proposed layoffs that would have cut a total of 20 jobs, including social workers and student monitors. They are the backbone, the backbone of this district. They are the ones that wipe the tears. They are the ones that deal with the problems. The layoffs were proposed amid serious financial issues in the district, a multi-million dollar shortfall that people want answers for. I still find it hard to believe a whole department with multiple checks and balances didn't catch a multi-million dollar mistake. The crowd demanded accountability, pointing fingers at certain board members and the superintendent. If anyone in my world had come up with that kind of deficit, it would mean immediate termination. Ultimately, the board voted not to go through with the layoffs, followed by a big round of applause. But not all was solved. I absolutely am relieved. I'm just still concerned about where the money is going to come from. Tonight, they appointed a new school board president. That is the second time they've done that just this week. So a lot of change and a lot at stake. Reporting live tonight, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, Jacqueline, thank you.